Welcome on board RV Dagon as we are about to start a pretty epic adventure. So right now we are in Antarctica. We are now south of 60 degrees. This is another expedition in a series of expeditions looking at all of the different really deep habitats there are. So we've already done the abyssal plains. We did a massive campaign in a fracture zone. We did a huge campaign in a subduction trench. And now we're looking at sub-zero environments. Temperature tomorrow is due to be zero with winds from seven to gust up to 12 from the northwest. Wind chill will make it feel like minus six. If you're feeling the cold, okay, come on in, rotate out. The whole expedition was centered around the South Orkney Trench. So we had it all organized for the last year and a half until we got within a week or two of getting here and realized that the sea ice is the worst it's been in 15 years. So there's no way we were getting the ship anywhere near South Orkney. So uh, we changed the plan and we've moved over west of the peninsula to the South Shetland Trench, which is 5,200 meters deep. So scientifically our objectives are so twofold. First one is to perform a deep sea biodiversity survey of the whole trench. That's just where is everything, what is everything. And the second part is a more of a geological part. This area is very unique and it has a lot of big glacial scars on the shallower end up towards 2,000, 1,000 meters. So that's something that we don't find in other places. The biodiversity in Antarctica is different. There's a lot of species which are very unique to here, which is called endemic. Uh, and there are other species that we do see, or species or other groups that we see in other places which are particularly abundant here, like the Pycnogonids, which are the sea spiders. So I would expect to start seeing a lot of those. And brittle stars. Brittle star density in Antarctica is known to be really, really high. So there will be some familiar faces and there'll be some new ones, uh, but it's really about where there are and the effect of temperatures having on their depth distribution. That's the big picture stuff for us. The South Shetland Trench at the very deep depth hasn't been explored too much. There's a little bit of data there and a lot of that actually came from myself and the other chief scientist, Heather Stewart. We came here nine years ago, so it's really quite exciting to come back and do it, you know, on a much, much larger scale. 